Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Envyviews and today we're gonna be talking about on which server should you play to SW Tour in 2020. Well, as you have noticed, maybe with my accent, I'm French and it's my first video in English, so don't be too harsh on me. Um, as you see, my main legacy is on Dorsmalgus and we're gonna see the pros and cons of different servers. Disclaimer before we start talking about the servers, a question that people often ask me is should I try SW Tor? And the answer is yes, definitely. It's a great game with a good gameplay, cool music and a nice story. I won't try to convince you of playing this game in this video, but I will tell you my thoughts about the servers you should play on in 2020. I'm gonna log into Dorsmalgus and we're gonna see how many people are on the fleet at the moment. So it's 6 and a half pm on CEST, Central European Summer Time. There are like four instances uh, one red, two white, and uh, one like orange maybe. Um, so I'm on the three uh, at the moment and there are. 116 people who are connected at the moment and we're gonna switch to the, the instance one uh, to see how many people are in this fleet 118 persons on this instance okay and we're now gonna switch to the imperial fleet 4 oh okay depopulating you may not travel there so if we do basic additions uh, we have basically more than 300 or maybe maybe 350 person who are connected at uh, 6 p.m. and a half on CEST. And now we're gonna log on Starforce to see how many people are on the server. I'm living in Europe, so I play on Dorsmalgus because I don't have server lag or ping. Um, but on this server, oh yeah, I have like 80, it's pretty bad. There are three fleets, the one who is full, apparently, um, 150 person. I'm gonna try to switch on the instance 6, only 44 persons on this instance. So, under Smalgus, it's the best uh, European server uh, to play on. Uh, basically, there are a lot of people. Um, there is a lot of PvP ranked. Under Smalgus, some people are win trading, some people are throwing. Uh, but it's basically the best server to queue on PvP ranked and maybe on ranked 2. I will do a basic test. Uh, I'm gonna queue on Warzones and see how many time it takes to pop. So I'm gonna queue now. And I have seen this uh, pretty interesting video of Noble Plays and it was saying that basically um, Satilchan was better than Star Wars to queue uh, because there were tank healers game on ranked and Star Wars it was only like DPS game, 4 DPS against 4 DPS and it wasn't really interesting, so it was better to queue on Satilchan. I am used to play on Dursmalgus because I have a lot of ping, uh, a lot of server lag. Okay, it, it popped. It took 1 minute and 20 seconds to pop. Yes, that's nice. And we're gonna see on Dursmalgus now. As you see on the server, I have a lot less server lag than on the uh, American server. I have like 30 MS. Oh, it already popped. Uh, it took um, 37 seconds to pop. It's really quick. So I think that there is uh, a jet lag of six hours between CEST and the hour of New York. Like uh, when it's 6 p.m. here, uh, it's like 12 a.m. Uh, in New York, I think. If I'm wrong, don't hesitate to correct me in the comments. Okay, I'm logged on Satilshan. It's 12 a.m. on CEST. We are another day. There are 90 persons connected on the instance 1. And if we try to switch to the instance 2, uh, it's depopulating. 
so I think there are maybe 40 45 persons uh, so it's pretty pretty low but but I think it's pretty normal because uh, with the jet lag uh, I think it's 6 a.m. in the morning uh, now in the USA but still it's a fact more people are on Starforge than on Satilchan I will show you some screenshots that I found on the internet that were saying that if you want a summary of the video, um, Dorsmalgus is the best European server, uh, there is a lot of people, uh, it's the best for PvP ranked and it's really good for PvE. Storeforge, probably the best NA server. Europeans will have server lag, but it's playable. Satilshan, a little less people than on Starforge, but I have seen people saying that in PvP the queue was better. Thank you for watching and don't hesitate to tell me what's your opinion about this video in the comments and on which servers you're used to play. It was Envivious and see you next time.